Come on. All right, one contract fear. Oh, B Block is right there, so be careful here. Look. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Future Trading with Mike. And once again, I'm trading the E Mini SP 500 futures, that is the ES, uh, trading the March contract. And we are bullish. The market has been making higher highs and higher lows. We broke uh, the 13th of December's high at 43.23, excuse me, 47.23. And uh, so, yeah, the market's pulling has been breaking higher. So, right now we got a little pullback going on. Uh, today's low is sitting right here at, at uh, 46.97. So, let's see what happens. Um, kind of just paying attention to see what the market was trying to do. A uh, price came down and approached this area um, right here, the swing level here. It didn't come down into this high volume area here, but it kind of just a few, maybe two points away and a bounce. Okay, so because we had this area of um, this uh, area of support right here. I'm sorry about that. Just paying attention to what the market's trying to do, guys. So please bear with me. So, yeah, um, let's see what happens, you know. Uh, uh, there was a trade. Okay, well, that's probably a couple of trades, but anyways, a trade right here, you could have went short, price uh, returned back to this high right here, uh, which was in the area of supply uh, in the market. So the market uh, pulled back, you could have went short and picked up a few, let's see here, that's what set for Picked up about three or four points, about three points I'll sell on the safe side, maybe two and a half, three points. So a little short entry there, could have taken that trade there. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens now. Uh, Market is retraced back to a level. Um, this is an area of um, supply sitting right here where the market's pulling back into. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. So, I like to take my trades. You know, you can take trades out of, like I was saying um, yesterday, I believe, support resistance areas. But I like to see price move back to an area of supply and demand because it's an area where either lots of you know, selling to place or buying to place, but like right now the market is um uh pulled back pretty much into this area here just of supply and it's put trying to push lower. So we'll see what happens. Um it could come on down and push on down to this area right here. All right, so okay. So we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. But yeah, on uh, today's video, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of talk about let me get my paper stuff together, guys. Kind of got two things going at one time. Um, about you know, really how to really use the volume profile, the indicator that I actually use, or the tool that I use, which you see here to, my, to the right hand of each one of my uh, charts. Um. I've said this in many videos before that it just kind of helps me gauge an area. You know, I don't primarily trade right from that, you know, only. I, I mark my levels or areas I'm interested in trading from, and then I use, I, I take a look at it. I use it like a GPS, more of like a, a geographical area uh, where the price is um, at or, or moving to or, you know, we're tracing back to. All right, let's see what happens here. Uh, the market just pulled back to this area here, and it's, it may try to push lower, I'm not sure yet. We'll take a look and see. But we have this swing level right here. Um, price pushed up and it pulled back and it pushed higher. So um so let's see here. Let's take a look at a full range here. See if we can get into a trade or two. Uh, yeah. Okay. Market pull 
come back. And I just expected it would. Um, okay. Let's see. The price can break. Let's see here. I'm not sure what it's going to be right here. Yeah. Like I said, it, it could come on down to this high volume area, guys, to be honest with you. Um, definitely does it like it wants to try to do so, at which point I may take a little short. So we'll see. Okay, bouncing here. All right, I'm short. Okay, I'm scalping the market going short, guys. Come on. I'm hoping to come out to this high volume area here. And uh, let's see. Come on down here and test 47.02 and a half. Around that area, they were the high volume that was at. See it here on the 12 range. Let's blow this up a little bit so you can see it. They can pull back, of course. You know that. Come on. 47.02 and a half. Ah. Uh, okay, first contract's filled. Um, okay, I did have a little, let me see something here. And we should pull on down there. I'm not sure why price is not, you know, immediately going down there, but we should come on down, pull them back right now, of course. There we go. Okay. I just got filled. All right. So that's the first little, little entry for today trading. All right, so we'll take a look and see. That's probably not much, but still, you know how it goes. Everything adds up, right? I'm trying to get my trade performance up here, so bear with me. Oh, today's the 16th. Yes, today is the 16th of uh, of um, December, guys. So, all right, 10 ticks. All right, starting out. You know, price is at an area. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I tell you what, if price can break above um, 4707, we'll see what happens. 4707 and 4708, let's just say that. Um, no, actually, no, I'm sorry. Not that, because price actually broke lower. All right, we'll see. So price is at the top volume area now. We don't want to take, a sh take you know, we don't want to be trading uh, right right at the high volume area. We, we want to wait, so. Um, yeah, so this is an area of, what I like to call an area of demand sitting right here okay so but you gotta be careful here and um so yeah and i was saying talk what i was talking about was you know i want to talk a little bit about how do you about the volume profile you know uh, day trading or trading with the volume profile, uh, so, you know, taking trades around the volume profile. You know, I always say buy the highs, set the lows. Um, I'm sorry, guys. What, what am I talking about? Uh, um, buy the lows, sell the highs. Good Lord. Uh, so, so excuse me for that. I'm taking a look, guys. This is where, you know, you get 
tongue twisted and messed up when I'm trying to trade, guys. This, this is not easy stuff trading uh, when you're trying to explain things too. So, anyways, what I'm saying was um, sell the highs, buy the lows. Okay. So, and using the volume profile, um, you know, you want to take your trades from the lower end if you're going to buy and sell from the higher end if, you, if you're looking to sell of the, of the uh, volume profile. So, all right, so price is blasted through this area now. All right, so, okay. Splat, trying to, trying to work its way through the area, so. All right. So if we're looking to go long, then we want to take our trades from the lower end of a high volume here. So I don't just take my trades straight off, just like that, off the high, off the um, just looking at the volume profile, guys. I mark my levels, I mark my areas, you know, whatever the level is, and then I'm I'm looking to um take my trade from that area. That's how I trade. Okay. So um all right, I'm long. Come on. And I'm going to pull back. I do know I know it can pull back. So I'm long. Let's see here. Hold on a Just gonna go ahead and take a point on this trade here. So I'm buying from the lower end. I'm buying at support though, so this is not an area of demand pretty much. It's an area of um you know pretty much support sitting right here. And when I say buying areas of demand, you want to buy where, where there was lots of buying taking place. And this would be the bottom area where the buying took place out, out of this area right here, okay? So come on. I'm looking for the market too. Let's see. I'm buying early, way early. Come on, push it right quick. Give me that point. Pull them back on me like that. All right. So, okay, the market can actually pull back. Let's see. To this area right here. Okay. Um, let's see. Actually, I already came back down there, so. Hopefully, we go ahead and get this move to the upside now and get this point on these two contracts and be done with this. Uh, hit. Okay, there we go. It's got feel. Okay. So, the market will probably it'll come up to this area right here. All right. So, you see it come up almost to that area, maybe uh, two ticks, three ticks away. And this is right in the middle of the high volume area. So, one, do not trade right in the middle of a high volume area. Okay. There's just too much going on there, buying and selling. Okay. Uh, to me, transactions. Um, Take the sale from the, the upper portion of a high volume area, not from the lower portion. So one, mark your area to interest in your level, whatever it is, sport resistance, whatever it is, whatever it is the level that you're looking at on the trade from. All right, so here we are. Price is at the upper end of it now. That's one. All right, two, do not trade in the middle of a high volume area, okay, when you're looking at the volume profile. I use the volume profile like a GPS, like a, a geographical um, point of destination or area to where, boom, once I have my, my level mark, um, I look, then I look, so my level here, all right, it's, it's support. I look to see what price could, what, where the, uh, how the volume profile looks like, what it looks like. And then at my level, I don't want to take the trade right here. I want to take the trade on the lower end of the higher, high, excuse me, the volume profile if I'm looking to go low. Got it? All right. So that just betters the probability of, of, of price moving from a lower area back to the median, which is right, you know, up in the uh, high volume area. So, yeah, you know, areas of volume act like magnets. So when you got like, uh, you're at a lower area, price wants to push right back up to there or move back to the area where it's more comfortable at, where there's more um, volume at. So you see where it happened right here when it got to the top of the the, the, high, the, uh, the volume profile and move back down 
you know, move back into the, the median, the, the area where this volume at. All right. So that's how you, um, that's how that works. Okay. Okay, price is breaking through this area here into this area here. Okay. All right, so let's see what happens. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Uh, okay. I'm going long because price can come up to this area right here at 69, 75. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, I know we're coming to at least this area right here, all right? So let's look and see what we have so far now on our um, trade performance. I'm up 25 ticks right now, all right? And that's how I use that too, the indicator, the volume profile. Volume is very important, guys, and especially, you know, I'm, very, I'm concerned to see these peaks and valleys. That's what I want to see, the lows and highs, because that tells me where most of uh, uh you know a lot of the trading took place that and i you know when i'm buying i want to buy from the low end buy the lows selling from the from the from the high end uh or the top portion of the volume profile okay so this is how you really you know you start your day off trading you know looking at the volume profile you know using the volume profile incorporate it into your trading how to use it correctly okay it's, it's simple but just don't use it to like Oh, prices that is right here at the bottom. Not paying attention to actually, you know, uh, the structure of the market or order flow. Um, you want to be looking that first. You know, understand the market structure, understand following order flow, marking your levels, and then once you identify a level support resistance, whatever it is you're trading from, um, and then you go over and you glance at the, the volume profile to see if that level is at that area of interest is where it stands at. Is it at the lower end or the higher end? You get, you got me. So that's how that works. All right. So yeah, let's see what happens here. Hmm. 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 Yeah, okay, I'm long. Okay. Come on. Scalping, guys. All right. There it is. A new price company in Texas high right here. All right. So 25 ticks. I'm up 31 ticks now. All right. Pay attention to what the market's trying to do. It's going to halt here, here because there's, there's, you know, an area where there was supply at and price started, you know, there was more selling that took place in this area right here. So uh, just watch that area. Now price comes up here and takes this level out. You know, you look to see what happens when it pulls back. Okay, just the same thing that happened when price pulled back to this area of resistance right here. Now we didn't tap into the area of demand down here, but now we're tapping into this area of supply. We're breaking through it um, here on the uh, this area right here where the swing is at. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're kind of moving sideways now. We're moving around this high volume area right here, okay? So be careful. All right, we're trying to break through this area, right? Um, yeah, so I'm primarily like look at my, my total range chart. I tell you, I tell you guys that, like, when price comes down to an area where there's a level that I start to, you know, I'll go over and look at my, my 12 range, I mean, excuse me, my four range chart. But I'm just looking to see, you know, I'm primarily following this leg right here, what the market's going to do as when price is pushing lower. I was trying to see, you know, we have, I'm looking, I'm looking to my left now. Now that price is trying to push higher, I'm looking to see, you know, these areas here within this leg to see what price is doing. So pay attention to that the structure is what I'm trying to say. Price moving to the downside, look to the left side, see what, what happened, you know, happened uh, prior to price, um, you know, trying to push up, look to the look going back up, see what price is doing, uh, what price did on its way down. That's what I, that's all I do. That's what I'm doing. I'm paying attention to the structure of the market uh, and, and looking at order flow as well. Okay, we're breaking higher, right? All right. So, yeah, this I don't. This would be just too. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I like to see price come back down in this area right here. Price coming back down in this area right here because we have demand in this area. I like to see that. This is a level right here, but still, I mean, it's just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't really. Don't like that. Well, here's a, an area where you could have went shorted it right here at four o'clock this morning, you know, if you're up trading. So price is coming back into this area now. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. I mean, that'd be tricky, though. Not much room, to be honest with you.
Yeah, right here was a uh, get taking a short right here. So price price moved lower, breaking this level right here when it pulled back into this area of supply right here. You could have went short at the let's see here, really pretty much at the break of this this candle right here, this red candle to the downside, just to this area. So we're talking maybe uh maybe about three three points, three and a half points you can pick up there. Yeah. That okay. So okay. Hmm. Okay, price is pulling back into this area, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you gotta be careful here though, because you don't have much room right here. Price came back down here. Um right here on the 12 range. It's just gonna pull right back up to this high volume area. So I mean it's a couple of little points there, two, two and a half, whatever, but still it's just too risky for me because you have resistance right above it, you know. So to me that's a no-go. Price is moving sideways. Be careful because it's wedging right here right now. Be careful because price can pause right here with this uh right here price can pause right here it's low volume area uh the price can pause when it gets to this area right here so be careful Hmm. The market pushing higher. All right. So let's see what happens here. So the market going to push higher. So from areas like this, you'd be looking to take shorts, of course, right? Okay. You have to be careful.
Well, in this volume in this area right here. I know I'm going playing this. Ah, no, 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 Come on. Ah, what the? Yeah, let me, uh, yeah, let me get out this trade. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let me get out that trade. I, was, I think that trade. Way too late. Okay. So it's okay. Wait, let's see. What the, I'm trying to wait to see what the market's trying to do here. Okay. Let's look at the 12 range again. Blow it up. It's trying to break this area right here. Come on. Okay, taking a quick little scalp short. Come on, just scalping, guys. There we go, quick little scalp short. All right, uh, no, the market might come back down here to test 4707. It's at 4708, so 4707 and, and three quarters, maybe. Uh, just quick scalp there. So I'm up 39 ticks right now. Really trying to see what this thing is trying to do. Um, B pop ship it to the upside. Yeah. Got the break to the upside, so um, hmm. but just because we got the break to the upside, okay, I'm long. Okay. All right. Well, long. Ah, let's go for that point. Okay. All right. 
Scott, I know Price can come up and test this area right here, guys, at 14 and a half, 14 and a quarter, somewhere around there. And it's already at pretty much 13 and a half right now. So let me see something. I was looking for Price to break the 47.12 area. And when it did, yeah. Where is it at? 14 now? See what I said? 14. It's at 14 now. I'm just a ticket or two away. All right. So it's got, whoops, for a point on that trade there. And I'm up 47 ticks now. Okay. Price come up to 14 and a half, 14 and a quarter, like I said, right? So uh, 47 ticks right now. All right. Let's see trades. Okay. All right. Now, this could be, we pull back into this area right here. This is an area of supply, all right? So, and this is what I'm talking about. This is a good setup for, could it possibly be a good setup? Price move back into this area of supply right here, okay? All right? So, if price breaks below this area here at 47, 10 and a half, I will be going short, okay? So, we will see what takes place here. Let's see, but the market can it can it can keep pushing higher. There's no doubt about it. Look at it. What we don't want to see it do is take out this area to the upside. I'm not saying this, you know, it's fine if it does. I'm just saying like I would like to see price, you know, halt at this area here and uh you know push lower. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. Let's try it. Let's see what it's going to do here. Hmm. Guys, I'm sure. I know price can pull back though. No price can pull back. We can pull back. All right, let's see what happens here. Price pulls back. I may scale off the contract. I'm looking for price to come down here and test maybe 4708 area. No. I'm... Okay. Um.
Uh, come on. All right, let's see what happens here. Yep, 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 yep. Much of price can pull back. Let's see. Come on. All right, one contract fear. Oh, v pock is right there, so be careful here. Look at it, hit my, it hit my, uh, hit the v pock bounce, right? Second contract field. All right, we're aiming for price to come lower, but let's, uh, you know, the market can pull back. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. I'm looking for price to come lower. We'll put a hard stop right here. I know price can pull back, but I don't want it to, um, you know, I don't want it to come back against me to where I'm taking a loss. Now on this trade here, I'm trading straight, straight off the 12 range. I know it can pull back here. It can pull back up to here. Back, come all the way back up to around the 15 area. But we got the V-pot deal, right? So. The stops is out. Hey, there's no loss, right? And that's how you trade. You come back. I got it positioned right behind this little swing to the downside right here. One tick above it. My stop. I want this puppy to come on down here and test what my contract is sitting here at. At uh, it's 47 away and a half. We'll see what happens here. Be right back, guys, because I have a stop on, so no worries. But I do want to mention because we're around the um, the, the VPOC, we can you know bounce you know what we're doing here, and market can pull pull back and pull back above this high volume area here. When you see it here on the four range too, so we'll see what happens. And this will be my last trade for the day if we can you know this trade works out successfully. Now, when you take trades from a higher time frame like this, you're going to get you're going to get this um 
you know, where I took this trade here, when I saw price breaking below here, you're gonna get you're gonna get this right here, guys. The price is gonna pull back and you're gonna get some of some some uh some pullback. Um meaning take take on a little heat there. So it is what it is. Right back. All right, if the market can break here, okay, this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put my stop right here. So that way I lock in some profit. Boom, we're one tick away. Boom, finished. All right, there it is. Nice trade, price probably, probably will come on down here to 47.07 or 47.07 and a half. Um, now let's see what we got now. So I should be up pretty heavy today on that. There we go, 87 ticks, 87 ticks, guys. Uh, 87 ticks and no losses. That's how you trade. You, I'm not saying you won't take when you, when you see yourself get into a little bad trade, jump, get out, get out the trade. You know, if you feel like it, you you'll know it because you'll feel it. You'll know it. See price bounce come right back, come right back. It's it's it may be done here. You know, we're a few ticks away, so it's probably done. It could be done, but it did come down. We got to this low volume area. Get into a low volume area, price projecting like that. I'll typically go ahead and get out. You know, um, but that's using the volume profile to be able to trade. You know, in conjunction with your, you know, you market levels and your charts, whatever the case is. Look, I saw this beautiful setup here, guys. I saw price pushing down. This is a swing right here. This is uh, resistance right here. Price pulls back into the upper portion of this swing right here, um, towards the head of the swing or neck of the swing, guys. That's supply right there. And then we had this run up, candle breaking, boom, busting, 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 busting to the upside. Four or five green candles there. I knew that game was plenty of area right here, plenty of area right here to uh, a price rejected out of this the area supply right here to move on down and test, you know, 47.0. Look at it. We're already hitting it. We're already hitting it. 47.07 and a quarter. I already called it, guys. Like, I'm telling you, like, I, my, I trade live for a reason, you know, because uh, I have to make an income from doing this. Uh, but... Guys, I, I don't have anything to hide. You know, this is me trading. I'm explaining my trade. I'm telling you where prices are going to go. Most times we're, you know, uh, looking at possibility where the market's going to go. And most times I'm dead on to the tick. Okay. So, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. But, you know, well, in talking about volume profile, like I was saying, market levels. Okay. Uh, volume profile is, is, is important piece. If you guys want to know where, you know, the, the volume profile tool I use, it's from, um, a, I guess a third party vendor that you can uh, import the script, but you have to buy the actual um, volume profile. I'm sure there's probably other volume profile tools out there you can use and import, but you know they may not be compatible with NinjaTrader. I'm not sure. I use NinjaTrader for trading the futures markets. Um, and a third party vendor that I actually use uh, for the volume profile is called, I think it's called the Range vo Volume Profile. It's with a company called uh, Disco Trading. And I'm not sponsored by them or, or you know, or supporting them or endorsed by them or whatever you want to call it. I'm just simply saying, just letting you know what I use. That's it. You know, you can go to their, their site. I think it's like discotrading.com. And the tool is called, uh, I think range, range volume profile indicator or something like that. But you'll find it on their site. Uh, but you know, market levels, wait for price. Okay. One, like I said, look at, look at, look at market structure. Okay. I'm particularly. Pay attention to this leg right here. When price pulls back to this area, this swing, which is supply up. Okay, boom. All right, I'm looking for supply. I want to see market come back into an area of supply. When it does, where is it at? It's above the high volume area, right? This little high volume area. And what do I always tell you to do? Sell the high. So one, we tap back into an area of supply. Two, we we move back into a, a, a the upper portion of a high volume area. Man, that's confirmation for me. When I see the break. But price pretty much it pushed over this green candle, 
All right, and then close to the down, so I had a red candle. When the second red candle started to close below that first red candle, I was in. Now, I know I can get some heat in a pullback, um, but my probability is high because I know it could, it's going to, price likes to come, likes to move from the upper portion of a high volume area, you know, where volume is thinning out at and moving back into the mean, okay? So just even from here at 47.15, above the high volume area, back to the mean, that's, you know, that's four and a half uh, points, four, about, let's say four, four points, okay? All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that's how I use volume profile, how I use it correctly and, and, and incorporate it into my trading, and, and that's simply it. Um, so, uh, in the, the day session with, uh, what did I say, 87 ticks, that's 1,087, almost 11, almost 1,100 dollars for the day. So, hey, that's good trading, and I've been you know trading a little bit less than an hour, so nothing wrong with that, okay? I'm scalping and picking up points. So, um, At this point, we're kind of moving back into an area of little demand here, but, um, you know, be careful because, let's see here. Yeah, um, be careful. So, you know, because right above you have a little areas of resistance or whatever the case is. The price come through, come down here, if price breaks here, then the next stop will be in this area right here with this high volume area is at. So just be careful. But this was the, the, the best move for today right here for me so far, okay? Uh, price pulling back to that area. Now, um, like I said, when price retracts back, there was an area of, let me see here. There was an area of resistance right here, which was, I mean, excuse me, support right there. Now, I didn't pull back into this area of demand, but if price comes back down here, Man, I'll tell you right now, let's see. Um, I'll let you know right now. Like, if price comes back down and breaks right below this area right here, uh, below 46, 92 and a half, whatever the case is, I would be taking a short down to uh, 46, 87 and a half, somewhere around there, picking up three, three points or whatever the case is, because uh, then you're moving back to this high volume area. So, to me, and, and you're moving back into the area of demand here. So price can actually move on down, test, tap into this area of demand down here within this swing, and then boom, turn back around and push higher. So just be on the lookout for things like that, okay? That's 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 the paying attention to market structure, and just from there, follow the oil flow. Guys, I appreciate everyone who's been tuned in and watching the videos daily. I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. Hey, share the share my, my the channel. Share the channel here, guys. Um, you know, with people that you know that may be interested in, in trading or learning to trade, whatever the case is, whatever platform that you use, you know, share the videos. You know, if you're watching today's video, um, you can click on that little share button and share it across your, your social media platforms, whatever the case is. You may have some buddies or friends that may be interested in trading. You may have mentioned some to, you know, the videos to uh, my, my videos to uh, some of your partners, whatever the case is, some of your friends. Um, hey, share it with them. You know, click that share button. But if this is your first time subscribe, uh, watching one of the videos, go ahead and subscribe and join the team, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little uh, bell icon, which is that post notification uh, icon. And basically what that does is every time I post a video here on the channel, uh, it will alert you, you know, via email or to your mobile device or however you, you set your notifications up to receive, um, you know, your alerts or whatever the case is. It'll let you know the moment I drop my videos and post it to YouTube, okay? Um, and go ahead and drop me a like on the on the video. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Today is the sixteenth uh, Thursday, uh, Thursday of de uh, December, and uh, that's going to be it. Appreciate it. See you in the next video. If you're trading today, be safe in the markets. Today's video, like I, I mentioned, guys, was basically showing you how to use the volume profile indicator or two, incorporating it when you you, you market up your levels in your charts. Okay. Take care. See you in the next video.